Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are sitting at 370.4 kilometers per second with a density of 2.7. Our sun is blank. This is now five days in a row without sunspots, a total of 114 for 2019 with days without sunspots. Our KP indices are sitting at a two with a 24 hour max also at a two. And taking a look at the SDO motion we see several coronal holes we're dealing with the one right now that is earth facing we should see solar wind effect from that on july 5th and further back towards the eastern limb of our star we see another coronal hole forming that could also be an issue for earth's magnetic field NOAA forecasters say there is a chance of a G1 class geomagnetic storms on July 5th when a co-rotating interaction region is expected to hit Earth's magnetic field. CIRs are transition zones, slow and fast moving streams of solar wind that contain shock like density gradients that sometimes do a good job at sparking auroras. And yesterday ended with a black hole in the sky across the South Pacific and parts of South America on July 2nd. The new moon passed directly across the face of the the sun producing a sunset solar eclipse and now here's Mari. Thank you Jake. Thousands marveled as a total solar eclipse darkens in Chile, Argentina. Let's have a look. The lack of humidity and light pollution create some of the world's clearest skies in the region. The region had not seen an eclipse since 1592. Earthquake and ground deformation rates at Mauna Loa Volcano have exceeded long-term background levels over the past several months. This has forced the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory to raise the alert level to advisory and the aviation color code to yellow. All communities on the flanks of the volcano should be prepared for a possible eruption, according to the observatory. This increase in alert level does not mean that an eruption is imminent, nor that the progression to an eruption is certain. A similar increase in activity occurred between 2014 and 2018. No eruption occurred. In the wake of last year's event, I've been trying to emphasize that the warning time for eruptions can be relatively short. And even though we hope to see weeks of buildup to an eruption, we may only get days or less. So that's one reason we encourage people to think ahead and be ready for all the kinds of things that we'll have to do if Mauna Loa were to erupt. Here at the Grand Solar Minimum Channel, we speak a lot about how cosmic rays are connected to volcanic activity. We will indeed be watching this one. Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, has published satellite images of areas in the Irkutsk region where a state emergency has been declared due to mass flooding. This photograph was taken on June 29th of 2019. Russian authorities say at least 20 people have died and 8 are still missing in massive floods in southeastern Siberia, and more than 200 people have been hospitalized primarily to hypothermia. The emergency ministry's regional branch said Wednesday that five of the people missing have been rescued and the search for those still unaccounted for is underway. The floods that followed torrential rains swept 55 towns and villages in the Irkutsk region, affecting 6,600 houses, displacing more than 32,000 people. Officials said that thousands were evacuated. President Vladimir Putin has ordered the military to join in rescue efforts. The armed forces have used amphibious vehicles to carry some of the trapped residents to safety. With this occurrence, many are blaming the climate crisis for this event. People want to fight climate. How does one fight climate? What we are experiencing is a natural cycle. There is no resisting. There is no fighting. All you can do is adapt. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share.